useless piece of shit. You absolute waste of space and air. You uneducated, ignorant, idiotic, dumb swine. You're an absolute embarrassment to humanity and all life as a whole. The magnitude of your failure just now is so indescribably massive that 100 years into the future, your name will be used as moniker of evil for heretics. Even if all of humanity put together their collective intelligence, there is no conceivable way they could have thought up a way to fuck up on the unimaginable scale you just did. When Jesus died for our sins, he must not have seen the sacrilegious act we just witnessed you performing, because if he did, he would have forsaken humanity long ago, so that your birth may have never become reality. After you die, your skeleton will be displayed in a museum after being scientifically researched so that all future generations may learn not to generate your bone structure because every tiny detail anyone may have in common with you degrades them to a useless piece of trash and a burden to society. No wonder your father questioned whether or not you were truly his son for you'd have to not be a waste of carbon matter for anyone to love you like a family member. Your birth made it so that mankind is worse of in every way you can possibly imagine, and you have made it so that society can never really recover into a state of organization. Everything has forever fallen into a bewildering chaos through which unrecognizable core you can only find misfortune. I would say the apocalypse is upon us, but this is merely the closest word humans have for the sheer scale of horror that is now reality. You have forever condemned everyone you love and know into an eternal state of suffering, worse than any human concept of hell. You are such an unholy being that if you step within a 100-foot radius of a holy place, or a place that has ever been deemed important by anyone. Your distorted sacrilegious soul will ruin whatever meaning it ever had beyond repair. You are an idiotic, shit-eating, dumbass ape, and no one has ever loved you. Rhodes Island would have been better off if you'd never joined us. You are a lying, backstabbing, cowardly, useless piece of shit, and I hate you with every single part of my being. Even this world's finest writers and poets from throughout the ages could never hope to accurately describe the scale on which you just fucked up and how incredibly idiotic you are. Anyone that believes in any religion out there should now realize that they have been wrong this entire time. For if divine beings were real, they would never have allowed a being such as you to stain the earth in this universe. In the future, there will be horror stories made about you, with the scariest part of them being that the reader has to realize that such an indescribable monster actually exists, and that the horrific events from the movie have actually taken place in the same world that they live in right now. You are the absolute embodiment of everything that has ever been wrong on this earth. Yet you manage to make it so that that is only a small part of the evil that is your being. Never in the history of mankind has there been anyone that could have predicted such an eldritch abomination. But here you are. It's hard to believe that I am seeing such an incredible failure with my own eyes. But here I am. So unfortunately, I cannot deny your existence. Even if I did my very best. My vocabulary is not able to describe the sheer magnitude of the idiotic mistake that is you. Even if time travel someday will be invented, there still would not be a single soul willing to go back in time to before this moment to fix history, because having to witness such incredible horrors if they failed would have too many mental and physical drawbacks that not even the bravest soul in history would be willing to risk it. I cannot imagine the pure dread your mother must have felt when she had to carry a baby for nine months and then giving birth to such a wretched monster as you. 
Not a single word of the incoherent, illogical rambling you may be wanting to do, to defend yourself or apologize, would ever be able to make up for what you just did. The countries of the world would have wanted to make laws preventing such a terrible event like this from ever happening again. But sadly, this is not possible since your horrific actions just now have shattered every form of order this world once had, making concepts such as laws irrelevant. Right. From the moment I first set my eyes on you, I knew you were an absolute abomination of everything that is wrong with humanity. I was hoping I would have been able to prevent your evil from being released upon this world by tagging along and keeping my eye on you. But it is clear to me now that not even the greatest efforts would have been able to prevent a terrible event in this scale from occurring.